Hello guys, my name is Desmond and I welcome you to my lesson for today. Ladies and gentlemen, um, please make sure that you've got something to write because I've got a lot of information that I need to share with you guys. So remember guys, in case if you want to ask any additional questions, or otherwise you might be having suggestions or in need of a study material or otherwise the material that I use to prepare for my notes, you can just drop me a WhatsApp on this number. Uh, I suppose you're watching this video from my website, which is that one over there. Ladies and gentlemen, a day without learning something new, it's a day wasted. So please do make sure that at the end of each and every lesson, you learn something new. Okay, so guys, for today, we'll be looking at a um, vertical projectile motion in one dimension. Okay, but before I go into detail, I just want to quickly take you, a, you know, take you through a summary of everything that I'm going to teach you um, in this lesson. Not necessarily in this lesson, but under this chapter of vertical projectile motion. So I might be doing um, a, some videos under these topics. So this is what I want us to discuss, not necessarily in one lesson, but I might do multiple lessons. And um, on this lesson, I want us to discuss vertical projectile motion. So let me just write it down. I hope a vertical projectile a motion in one dimension. Okay. And again, ladies and gentlemen, um, we might need to define um, the concepts of vertical projectile motion. So I might do a separate video for this. So, which means uh, on this lesson, I'll be focusing on vertical projectile motion in one dimension, okay? On the next lesson of which I encourage you to watch. So, ladies and gentlemen, in short, please do make sure that when you watch my lessons, you start from the first all the way up to the last lesson because, ladies and gentlemen, if you start with, a, you know, in the middle of my lessons, you might lose some of the, you know, the most important information which I've discussed in my previous lessons, okay? So it's very, very much important that you start with the first lesson and watch until the end. And most importantly, watch all of my lessons, not necessarily at the same time or on the same day, but whenever you get the chance, please do make sure to go through all of my lessons, okay? So the next thing, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, definition, uh, definitions of concepts, concepts of vertical projectile motion. Okay. And thirdly, ladies and gentlemen, I'll also do a lesson where I focus specifically on vertical projectile motion equations. Okay, I suppose you're able to see over there I've got new symbols of um, vertical projectile motion equations. Okay, so that's why I'm going to explain to you why I refer to those as new symbols. Okay, so that means we obviously have the old symbols of which i'm going to uh, you know explain in detail so ladies and gentlemen uh, that will be vertical projectile motion equations okay very very much important ladies and gentlemen that you learn all of this information and again i'm going to 
you know, take you through the steps of using these equations, okay? So that's why we have to do everything step by step. This will be our starting point, and then we'll be going up until the last part of this chapter. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to take you through the steps to using uh, these equations of vertical projectile motion. Okay, so from there, ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we are done with, um, you know, explaining these equations and taking you through the steps of using these equations, we're obviously going to uh, do the interpretation of the graphs. If you're in grade 12, uh, at this point, I assume you are aware that we've got some graphs which represents, um, you know, different problems that we'll be solving. But for now, let's just say we'll be looking at interpretation of the graphs. Very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen. Interpretation of um, the graphs. Guys, never mind my handwriting. I assume you can clearly hear me as I speak. So in case if you've got something to write as I speak, you can just quickly write down. But most importantly, you know, invest much of your concentration in listening to what I'm saying. Less of your concentration into writing because you can watch this lesson over and over again in case if you want to accurately write everything down as part of your notes, okay? Remember guys, these are not the notes which will help you in exam, but it's just to take you through what we'll be dealing with as far as vertical projectile motion in one dimension is concerned, okay? I hope you fully understand that part. So ladies and gentlemen, as soon as we are done with the interpretation of the graphs, we'll be doing some practice questions, okay? So that means um, from the notes that I've prepared, I should be having some problems that we are going to solve. That's why I'll be teaching you on how to interpret the given scenario. The given, um, you know, it could be diagrams and again, um, taking you through the process of solving those problems okay so ladies and gentlemen that means we'll be you know doing some practice questions you can just note it down and then lastly um ladies and gentlemen as soon as we are done with some practice questions i would like us to go through some exams related questions okay so normally i do a special lesson where i focus on solving exam papers okay so it might not be in this folder but uh, i'm sure if you go through my website there's somewhere where you can either catch up or watch my live lessons so i've already done some lessons previously uh, i've done them last year when i was preparing matriculants for their final exams so as soon as we are done with the whole of this, we can then uh, catch up and see if we can be, you know, able to understand when I solve those exam questions. So lastly, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is to solve uh, exam questions or exam papers. Okay, so I won't be teaching you anything, but I'll just be solving exam related questions and ladies and gentlemen uh, the reason why you need to watch those lessons is because that's where i provide additional information where you might find that some of that information is not included in these lessons because the manner in which examiners ask questions are different from how questions are asked from your textbooks okay so that's why i teach you the tricks or the, all the tricks that examiners use, uh, you know, when, when giving you problems to solve, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I think let's just end uh, this and, and, and take it as an introduction to this chapter that we'll be dealing with. As soon as I'm done, I'm just, I'm just quickly going to start with a new 
a lesson where I'll be focusing on vertical projectile motion in one dimension. Okay, very, very much important, ladies and gentlemen, that straight away, as soon as you're done watching this um, summary or introduction, you then start watching um, the next lesson. Okay, so guys, I'll see you soon.